excited to uh, get uh, a bunch of young people from Bexley up first. It's the Burnt Oak Junior School. Their project is Bopal. <laughs> We started using iPod Touches in year three to help us with our learning. We had 16 iPods for our class of 32 last term and 12 apps on them. Uh, an app, by the way, is an application, can be a game or a way of doing things on the iPods. The first app we used showed us how to make origami model with videos and diagrams. We all made some origami models. This term we are using iPod Touches with 150 apps every day and we have one each to help us with our learning. We use them to explore the internet, internet and use the apps on them for, on them for numeracy, literacy, science and other subjects. Because the iPods are small, they can be carried around with us and they don't okay. need wires. Oh. We did rehearse this. <laughs> in music, we can play drums and piano as well as other instruments on them. We can also use them to play games to get our brains to work faster. We can go on the internet, cut and paste information into our note page and save pictures. We can also see the weather in different cities by using an app that shows us live webcams around the world. More and more apps are coming out every day which help our learning and are more fun to use. We have already shared what we can do with the iPods with the other year four class when we found out about Farming and Tudor times. We also showed year six what can be done with the iPods and then we will gradually include the whole school in the project. We think it's new using the iPods because we are using them every day, not part of a special project, and we don't think they have been used in this way before. The iPods have apps that computers don't have. You only have to touch an app to start it. But they have touch screens and you can move things around with your fingers. This saves time. You don't have to use a mouse or a keyboard to get started. Apps are presented in a way which makes learning fun. Because the iPods are small, they can be carried around with us and they don't need wires. We can have them next to our books when we are working. We can sit on the carpet or at our tables and find out information on the internet and to copy and paste information into our notepad. 
Everyone in the class can go on the internet at the same time and use Flick and Pinch to look at the websites. One app lets us see live pictures of the weather around the world. We can draw on other people's iPod touches on our network so we can draw pictures together. It has helped us in our learning because we want to use them to find out about things. Math apps help us to do maths faster. But Touch P Physics and Jelly Car are good for understanding our physics. In Touch P Physics, you have to draw boulders the right size, which fall on a tiny ball, and you have to get the right sizes to move the ball. In literacy, we can use them as dictionaries and a thesaurus. They can help us with our spellings because they can show us possible words, even if we type in only a few letters. If a word is not in the dictionary, we can Google it quickly. And on the iPod, you can just click on something to use it instead of having to search through a whole textbook. We can use the iPod to draw and make our own wallpaper. There are lots of different apps, and even if it's maths, it's a fun way of learning. We think the brain games help our brains to work faster. We have learnt how to get them out and put them away properly so we don't lose them. In our school, we believe that learning is fun. And, and it's, it's more, more fun, fun to, to learn, learn this way. This is what the others in the class think. My favourite app that I like is um, L Cube Light. And you have those shuffle cube things. And if you press shuffle, you, it scrambles it up. So you have to twist your finger around like that and get all the squares done. If, it's, if you're bored of that, then you can just press reset and then you have your cube all set it up. On Doodle Buddy, you can um, press um, um, a um, background and um, or save photos and you put it on um, and you can press start drawing alone and then you can put different stamps on and if you press an I, you can do that. On World, you can find out what the weather is and um, the webcam shows you what it looks like. The first game that helps with my learning is called Brain G3, and you can um, and it helps you with your. I don't know why it did that. Shall we try and click it? Start. Oh, it started again. Okay. Um, favourite app that I like is um, L Cube Light, and you have those shuffle cube things. And if you press shuffle, you, it scrambles it up, so you have to twist your finger around like that and get all the squares done. If, it's, if you're bored of that, then you can just press reset and then you have your cube all set it up. On Doodle Buddy, you can. Um, press um, um, a um, background and um, or save photos and you put it on um, and you can press start drawing alone and then you can put different stamps on and if you press an I you can do that. On World you can find out what the weather is and um, the webcam shows you what it looks like. The first game that helps with my learning is called Brain G3, and you can, um, and it helps you with your. Right, okay. What I'd like to just end the video on, Brooke, would you mind standing up for a moment and telling us about your sister? Remember, you ended the video on that, so if you face everyone really loud, Brooke, you know she was going to do this. Tell us about your sister. Sorry, yeah, give her a mic. My my two year old sister knows how to work doodle buddy. Thank you. Yeah, just give a great round of applause for for Burnt Oak Junior School. Thank you. Um, Yeah,
That's, that's it. Wait. How, how was that? How, how was that? What was the score on the clap on the clapometer? That was a lot. That was um, 2,800. 2,800. That's incredible. It's enough to make you go deaf. Are you gonna Are you gonna note that down? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna note that down there. Wow, you guys, you guys are amazing. Do you know what? Do you know what? I've seen the future. I've seen it. 20 years from now, yeah? You're Prime Minister, right? <laughs> and you're the techno cabinet. And we've done away with really boring stuff, right? Like work and stuff like that. And all we do is we all walk around with like little flat screens. We play apps. <laughs> and, that's, and that is my kind of future. So please remember me when I'm old. And you guys are running the country. Oh, wow, man, that was amazing. Wasn't that incredible, though? Really? Maybe it's still cool for you because you're like the parents and you're, you're seeing it all happen. But that, I'm just blown away. I feel like I'm in South Korea or Japan or somewhere where, where I've been, I travelled and where children are very technologised and, and do interesting things like this. And it's just so wonderful to see you doing it. Have you designed your own app yet? Because I feel that is the next stage. I feel that is the next stage. But I may be preempting our adjudicators, um, otherwise known as, begins with I, sounds like interceptors. What are these guys? Inquisitors. Yeah, that's it. The Inquisitors. It's over to you guys now. Would you like the microphone so we can get some, uh, some feedback from you? Okay, would one of you like to say what your favourite application is and why? Um, my favourite app um, is Jelly Car because there's all different like um, games and there's like games where there's... Um, well, there's a car made out of jelly and a place where they're jelly. And there's a um, car at the end, and you've got to get to the star and um, drive it to all the things and get past everything. Cool. <laughs> and um, from one of you, why, why do you think the iPod touches are better for you than working in books? Because on the iPod, you can just do maths, like, on the iPods and help your maths. So then, probably later on the, in the year, you can do much harder stuff and then get it all right, hopefully. <laughs> Which is an actually, it's another way of saying, listen, old man, books are out, all right? <laughs> Apps are in, boyfriend. <laughs> That's what you meant. Um, seriously, thank you. For your are, you are you happy now? Apart from me just taking the mickey a little bit. Uh, well, what can I say but a huge round of applause for our first presentation, the Bopod Project uh, from Burnt Oak Junior School. <laughs> wow. Hey, unfortunately.